I told you Kathleen would be back. Everyone just needed to hang on to their titties. And here she is. I'm back, baby. She's she's back. Wait, wait, wait. Can I tell them I have I've had my makeup on since 8 a.m. Okay. And sure. it's like 12 p.m. I, I mean, shot. it's like it's like midnight and I've had my makeup on since 8 a.m. Ooh. Yeah. Fell off your man. The <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Are we gonna both take a shot? Yeah, so you do half and then I do half. But don't put any back wash in it as this goes. Like, <laughs> How am I supposed to control that? <laughs> so we're drinking Maker's Mark. I know. If you watch our videos, you know Jensen Ackles is our go to, but now it's Baker's Man. You know what? No. This is not better than Jensen Ackles. We drank drink it whiskey. and then you were like, wow, that's so much smoother than, than Jensen Ackles. And I, you know, easily manipulated. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> oh. You know what I think it is? I'm genuinely excited for today's video because Kathleen is super into astrology. If you didn't know by her 35 zodiac like chains that she has in her makeup thing. Hashtag colorpop.com. Link wait, below. Not hashtag, just colorpop.com. <laughs> <laughs> She's super into astrology, and I have always thought that that was like something kind of ridiculous about you. Like, I always was like, oh, that's Kathleen saying that I'm such a Leo, and I don't even know what the fuck that means. Until. Until when? Until you start introducing me to moon signs. Mm hmm. That's where it all clicks. And then rising signs. And it started fucking me up in my head because I realized, like, if you just go by the. Jesse the Scorpio rising. Sorry, I know I could tell. But <laughs> Jesse the Scorpio rising, I know in the past you've said that you're a Sagittarius rising. But okay, that not. was one time on Twitter. <coughs> I miscalculated. You told me I was a Sagittarius I rising. I know. I, I, mis I misread your chart. But you yeah. come off like Scorpio, you know, like seducting. I do not come off seductive. <laughs> you look like you're down. I'm not down for anything. Anyway. You literally, you would like try things. You know, you try things. No, no, no. You know. <laughs> we don't fight. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, I have a Scorpio moon and a Leo rising, and you have a Leo, Leo moon rising. with a Scorpio rising. Leo moon and Scorpio. That's rising. why we're connecting. <laughs> but I'm super excited to do this video because if there's something that you guys love on my channel, we haven't even said what this video is. No, but they know their title. Hold on. Oh, they know the title. <laughs> I was leaning into it. If there's one thing that you guys like on this channel, it's when me and Kathleen talk about our ex-boyfriends. What are the most popular videos on my channel in general? Oh my god, the stupid phantom video. If First I would have known it was gonna get that many views. <laughs> Kathleen had the idea. Well, I came up with the okay. I did a video on Kendall's. No, I did a video on my no on Kendall's. I did a video. Hello, are you Maker's fucking man? Are you there? Jesus. I did a video on Kendall's channel where we were dragging the signs. It was like all I did fun. But then I thought, how fun would this be if I dragged my ex-boyfriends because of their signs? I thought, well, who better to do that with than you? I am now getting into astrology, but I'm not as into astrology as Kathleen. But yeah, but you're pretty into it now. So Loki, I've researched what a few of my exes were. Oh, have you? Loki, Heike. Heike, Heike. <laughs> Loki, Heike. A little bit. I've been like curious, but I have not done it to all of my exes and a lot of the exes that you guys know about, I have not looked up their birthday. Oh, so we were gonna do that today. We're gonna find out what they are, but also, also roast them. Also roast them. Clink. Let's do and it. because I got married at 19, I have a very small list, but that's fine. I did have a lot of crutches. I what about the guy you cheated on? Okay, first of all, what was his name? I was 14. He was a Libra. I was 14. Wow, you would cheat on a Libra with a Scorpio. Wouldn't I cheat on a Libra with a Scorpio? Oh of course, gosh. because the Scorpio is so manipulative and sexual, <laughs> trying to get me to cheat on my Libra boyfriend. Okay, okay, okay. We just have to get into it. Let's get into it. So who's gonna start? You start. You start. You start. Whoa, you start. What's sign What sign is Phantom? We need to know. <laughs> Everybody, don't say that. Need to lie in these house. I'm drawn to Scorpios. It's that comes to Scorpio. Yeah. Which 1000% because number one, creepy AF. He used to hide in a bush and like, remember, protect the raccoons. Super Scorpio, like weird, who's weird. hiding in a bush mm -hmm. and protecting the raccoons? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna say that I'm not surprised, but I'm not surprised. You know, you know the, the story of Dee Dee? <laughs> you know the story of Dee Dee Blanchard? Duh. She's a Gemini. The mom? Oh, that makes sense. Total I mean, no, fucking sense. No offense. No offense. No offense. Now we need to talk about your. Okay, now you. Okay, we'll go back and forth. One boyfriend. So one boyfriend. I'm not gonna go with the big hitters. I'm not gonna start with like Jonathan uh, or, or Richie. Richie, what is Richie? Richie's a cancer. Oh my god, I see that. I know. Me I too. see that because he too, seems very watery and caring. He's literally one of the nicest <laughs> people I ever met. I would imagine that most people that follow me would know about Richie, my ex-boyfriend. I posted videos with him. He's the ex that I did uh, the He's like the ex does my ex know me oh, video. Right. One time oh, that girl tried to steal him from you and tried to sleep with him, and you had a friend that like tried to fuck him and shit. The internet doesn't know that, but they do now, and I'm keeping that in. <laughs> Wait a minute, Samuel Adams? There's Sam a famous Adams. person. With this name. 
Samuel J. L. Jackson. Richie, now that we got into it, yes, he's June 30th, so he's a cancer. He's Tell us the cancer he thinks about him. He's just a very caring person. Some guys are like scared to show like romance or like affection. He was never scared of that. Like he would just be like, oh, oh of course like, not. No water men. I've noticed that like water guys are very affectionate, very caring. A lot of the times they're the more romantic sign. Water and fire. They're the more romantic sign. They show a little bit more. Yeah. If you followed me for a long time, you might know about the army guy. His birthday? Wait, don't tell me. Give me, oh, hold on. Can I guess it? Give yeah. me facts about him. Give me facts about him. I okay. Guess. I guess. Oh my god. I'm so okay. excited. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so Army Guy was. First of all, Army. Check. Got it. <laughs> he was very emotionally unavailable. So automatically, I'm going to eliminate fire and water. Okay. Can I do that? Can I eliminate fire water? You can do whatever you want. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. He was like hot and cold with me. Like, he would literally be like, oh, like, Is he I need you. Is he Gemini? <laughs> Does that make so much sense? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the guy that would like disappear out of nowhere. Yes. Oh my god. You do you guys know about the army guy? Okay, Gemini, tell us about him. Dude, he literally just like played me. He would tell me like, you are everything oh. that I need. I want oh. you to have my children. He oh. told me. Oh. He, I have a video about how he wanted me to get pregnant. Oh. Oh, that's not about my channel. Oh. And then the next day, never called me back. <laughs> what a fucking the next day. Oh, I, I know this video. Yeah. Again, it's like signs are real. This is real because he is such a Gemini. I know. I it's really easy, know. like if you're watching this and you don't believe in like zodiac shit, to think this is like all bullshit. Whatever. There's so much more. If you want to learn about it, you can just go on the internet and learn about it. But it's not. Jess just is gonna put a picture of this book. If you want to know more about signs. Get this book. Oh my god. It's I'm not just you. like, oh, I'm a Leo because I'm a Leo and I identify with a lot of things about being a Leo, but I also really like don't. Like sometimes I'm like, wait, but it doesn't make sense that I'm a Leo. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I thought it was bullshit. But then when you look at your other signs mm -hmm. and the way you are, like for instance, like in Venus, I'm a Cancer, oh. which means I am so affectionate with like Nassim and like oh he's god, like the only sense. person that yeah, I want to yeah, like yeah. grab and hug and it's like, oh my god. Oh my like, god. That makes, that makes so sense that your Venus is Cancer. My Venus is Scorpio, that's why I'm a fucking psycho. <laughs> One time we Maybe. were at we were at Marquee and you know how like clubs have like club girls who come with the bottles and they're like ah, okay. This bitch, to my knowledge, was all over Nassim, all over Danny. She was like, oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Mommy. Oh, oh. She did it to Nassim, I saw her. First of all, this is what happened. She was a waiter. Waitress. Waitress. My bad. <laughs> she was a waitress. She came and she was giving us all drinks. That's fine and dandy. Now, did she have to dance That's in front of her husband's this close? No. No. Did she have to touch Danny like up and down like that? No. No. Whatever. We're fucking nuts. <laughs> that's a fucking. That's the whole point. Danny's like, bro, you're being dramatic. No. She's doing her job. And I'm like, oh yeah, she's trying to. I looked at Yasenia. She's literally touching your ball sack. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. I didn't date a lot, but I kind of. I went on dates a lot. Does that count? Yeah. But like, what? Like day? to Dolphin Mall. Yeah, yeah. Like to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Where you don't talk, you just kind of like low key yeah, make yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of or was funny. that just me? No, no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you this. Your worst experience with a guy is in like biggest heartbreak, biggest fucked up situation. What was the sign? Like the worst. Okay, what was the guy? Who was the one that destroyed you? Like you felt like the worst. She I mean, it's I literally feel like crying right now. And I mean, it's obviously like high school stuff because like we're happily yeah. married now. But you know what it I mean? It was not like, high school for me. It was after high school. But you know what I mean? Like that young. Yeah, I got married at 24. So. Yeah, that young heartbreak. Like yeah. Who was it? What was the sign? Well, it didn't feel like young heartbreak. It was 19 year old heartbreak. So it was still like teenage years, mm -hmm. but it felt very very adulty because we lived together and Jonathan. you know whatever Jonathan a Taurus Jonathan okay there's a show called Temptation Island this is not a sponsorship <laughs> Temptation Island is a show where they literally get long-term couples like I'm talking some are eight years some are three years some are ten years that are kind of at a crossroads maybe one wants to get married one doesn't shit like that like they're yeah. just kind of like at a crossroads they take you to Hawaii they I'm put down. mamacita huh? in a house with a bunch of single guys oh. and papito in a house with a bunch of single girls <laughs> <laughs> the point of me mentioning that that show literally made me cry because a couple that had been together for 10 years he basically met another girl and left his girlfriend and every bonfire she had to watch him either kissing fucking this girl fucking why would you fuck in front of your ex not in front of the ex he's in the house doing their own thing the shows the people that record it and show oh. it to her at the end they get to come together and basically decide if they want to leave alone together or with another person oh i don't like the show. and have like a talk it out Whatever. Oh, the that. whole reason I'm mentioning that is because at the end, she literally, with all her heart, like begs for him back. Oh no. And looks at him and is literally like, please, we're never gonna see each other. No, please, please. Ask nothing. I was crying and, I, and that is what I did to Jonathan. I begged that man 
to take me back. He, I wouldn't say emotionally abused, he emotionally manipulated me. He told me the sentence that one day we're both gonna be married, we're both gonna have kids, and I'm still gonna be the one that loves you most in this world. That shit like fucked yeah, you up. You couldn't believe that bullshit, that's fake. Oh, I believed it back then. And it plays with my mind. Like even to this day that I'll just be like, oh my God, nobody could ever love me what like him. What was that's his what moon was sign? Me. What was his moon sign? Well. We his sign, deeper. let's talk about his sign. He's a Taurus. He was a Taurus. Let's see if we can find his moon sign, because actually, I would love that. My longest relationship was a Libra, and he was the most normal. Like, I think he I like the, Libras. He was the most normal. And I don't know if it's because I'm an Aquarius and I'm an air sign, so me and him got along so well, because we're both air signs. But he had a really bad temper, so I don't know. He had to have a very powerful What's the downside to Libras? Oh my god, they're so fucking indecisive. They don't know what they want. They're like very like back and forth. They're also big ass flirts. Like if you have a Libra boyfriend, like I'm sure he Love. Mm. He's a little flirty and he's like, I'm not flirty. I'm friendly and you're like, yeah, friendly. No, you're flirty. I found the birthday. Of who? Jonathan. Jonathan. May 2nd, 1985. May 2nd? May 2nd, 1985. That's Danny's birthday. May 2nd. That's Jonathan's birthday. My and brother? Jonathan, my brother. <laughs> yeah. Jonathan, my ex, has the same birthday as Jonathan, my brother, and the same middle name as Joey, my brother. How funny. Weird. That is weird. <laughs> okay, 1985. Danny's born in 84. Oh, weird. He's a Libra moon. Jonathan. What? Yeah, Jonathan has a Libra moon. Okay, what's the bad parts of Libras? Like the worst parts of Libras? <laughs> what makes them evil? I'm not gonna say this, but it's the fact. Like Tauruses are very, very, very aggressive. Like for example, David Miscavige, you know him? He's the leader of Scientology. He's a Taurus. Chris Brown, who beat up Rihanna. Taurus. Okay. Uh, let's cut that one out. <laughs> so it's rough, it's rough. You're scaring me. It's rough. I'm gonna like sleep looking at my husband like- Let me think. I was on a ColourPop photo shoot once and the photographer and the stylist, both had husbands that were Tauruses and they were saying that they were the most loyal, most amazing husbands in the world. And I'm like, dude, I feel that way about my husband. Here's the thing, I'm a Leo. So yeah, by right. nature, I believe not that loyal. everything, oh, yeah, okay. not loyal. Not loyal relationships. And that is not saying that I would ever cheat on my husband because I would never. But I'm, I'm saying like, Leos just are by nature, like are like, oh, the grass is greener on the other side. I don't fucking flirt with other guys. I don't do shit. I don't want to give anybody ideas. I'm just saying, and I told, I was talking to Nassim about this the other day. I'm like, Leos are like hard to yeah. get in a relationship. And Nassim is like, no doubt, I am with you till we're dead. And I'm like, oh <laughs> That's shit. That's a Taurus. I was talking about this to Kendall. And Kendall's like, oh, I feel that way about Josh. Like, no. No, he's my husband till the end of time. Oh yeah. And I told her, I'm like, even if Danny wakes up and is like, I don't love you anymore. That won't matter. <laughs> he will still be with me till the end of time. My first boyfriend ever, who was a Virgo. Oh. Which makes sense because he literally would tell me, oh, you wore that shirt three months ago. And I'm like, are you okay? Shut the fuck up. I swear to you. He I was can't. the type of person, like, I've seen you wear those shoes like six times in a row. What are you, a fucking detective, Danny? Yeah. Whenever things were like passionate, they weren't. They say weird. that earth signs are the least in bed. I think it's because earth signs are very like stable, respectful, like very grounded. Yes. You'll never see an earth sign be like, ooh, like, 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 can I suck your toes? <laughs> and like, mm, poor man, he's on it. Mm, and like, suck him really good. An earth sign is super normal. You might get that from your like Pisces boyfriend or your Aquarius boyfriend, for sure. Yeah. But like your Virgo or Taurus or Capricorn boyfriend is never going to ask that for you. They're very like, by the book. The point is, what was the point? <laughs> We were because talking about Virgo boys. I'm dating, dating with one dating Virgo boy. Dating. He was my first boyfriend ever. I don't know what my first boyfriend ever was. His name was George Lima. He was. You can't say that. Why not? Because his whole name. Why? He was so nice. <laughs> I need to find out what my first kiss sign was. He was a weirdo. Oh, hold on. Oh my god! I think that George was a Lima. <laughs> I meant Libra. I think George was a Libra. Oh. Getting at my biggest heartbreak, what I was telling you, oh the God. worst, most effed up situation was a Leo. It was a boy, and he was a Leo. Right, that makes sense. Yeah, he was a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was in high school, and he to me was like the cutest, the most like the coolest person. Oh, the coolest! He was on the baseball team. He was like every the whole package. That was a puppy. And oh yeah, yeah, he would like call me on his breaks at work. Super in love. Oh my God! And then like the next day, Super Gemini was like, oh you're dead to me. He was in love with some girl that we went to school with, and they were like dating, and then they broke up, and like she didn't give him the time of day so he had to find a rebound so who better than oh me I was, oh yeah yeah i was like the rebound but it taught me a lot but also like mm, i hate leo men <laughs> <laughs> literally like one of your close friends is a leo guy no, leo men oh danilo he's the best but i'm not trying to date him you know what i mean <laughs> i like them as friends relationships not so much. One okay. night he brought me McDonald's to my house. He brought me McDonald's like, oh, you're hungry. I'm going to bring you McDonald's. We sat and talked all night outside. And then the next day he acted like I was dead. He didn't talk to me. Like I was dead. Like I was dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> like I was nothing. I'm glad that he, he did that to me because he turned out to be like a big loser. Like word on the street, 
He's a big loser, so. <laughs> he also owes my friend like $800. <laughs> He's the worst. And also, this is doing way better without him. So shout out to fuck that Yay! guy. Fuck the Leo man. Okay. Except your son Noah, who's a Leo, who's gonna be a oh stand-up guy. Oh my god, guy. how did I forget that? He's a cancer moon. He's you were trash talking my son this whole time. <laughs> You're lucky he was asleep. And because he was not here, I did not visually remember. Or I need to know what my first kiss his sign was. Because that was the weirdest motherfucker. Like, if I can explain a weird motherfucker, he would be even weirder than that. Is he new Aquarius? What's January 31st? Bro, I'm a fucking genius. What is it? I'm a fucking genius. What is it? A fucking Aquarius! <laughs> Did he try to suck your toes? <laughs> I can't think of exactly quotes he would say, but he would say weird shit that would make me and my friend feel very uncomfortable. Oh, I bet. I liked some guy. Um, his birthday was actually January 29th. My birthday is January 27th. This was the 29th, and he was weird. How weird? Like, like sexually, he liked weird things. But that's why you're saying the toe thing. Where does that toe thing come from? Because no, you just... mentioned sucking toes like 25 times. <laughs> I feel like... Do I mean, you like to suck toes? No, I feel like Aquariuses do though. Not me. So we know you be sucking Danny's no, no, toes. No, I, I, feel, I swear I'm Porter, I don't suck toes. It's not my thing. <laughs> if you want to suck toes, you suck toes. I mean, people suck buttholes. Exactly. I don't suck buttholes. I don't, <laughs> I don't suck buttholes. I used to know about like threesomes he used to have all the time. He used to tell me about his like threesomes. I know. You weird. dated him? No, I didn't date him. Oh. I was like... In love with him? But he had a girlfriend, and then he used to tell me about the threesomes he would have with his girlfriend and some other girl. And like the details he would describe, I'm like, I don't, you're weird as fuck. I oh, thought I've never met an Aquarius man, but turns out my first kiss was with an Aquarius man. How was that first kiss? Tell me. Walk me through it. It was beautiful. Oh. It was at a movie theater. Oh. All my friends went there. They knew I planned it. I planned it. It was sixth grade, and I literally was like, oh, I had my first kiss in sixth grade. Right? Yeah. Uh, hello, are you okay? I don't know. How is that Oh, I had my first kiss in sixth grade. We went to the movie theater. Mm -hmm. I brought like four girlfriends and he brought like three guy friends. Okay, okay. <laughs> and literally was his guy friend sitting on that side. My girlfriend sitting, no, it was not like mingle mingle. It was like we both brought our crew just so we could like hook up. That's weird. It was what, fucking nobody weird. hooked up? No, just me and him. There's two more people I need to know. I also times. dated, I would say, one of my most important relationships prior to my oh. husband <laughs> was an Aries. Was an Aries. He was extremely passionate. I don't know if it was his Pisces moon as well, but like very like, I need you, I love you, oh baby, oh baby. But then when we got together finally, it like died. Every Aries will chase you because they love the chase. But the second they get you, it's like, I got you, what? You're tripping me out. Oh. I had a guy named Jose in my life. Okay. He was an Aries. I don't know his moon sign. I I should check. He chased me, like loved me from day one. Crazy about me, all that stuff. Straight up, this is no lie. He finally was like, okay, I'll give you a chance. And he looked at me that night in the middle of a very romantic moment, stared me in the eyes and said, hey cutie. Literally, that's, oh, hey, that's cutie. what he said. He said, hey cutie, Fuck. you know I don't want anything serious, right? After years of begging me to be together, begging me, like crying to me, right. and that's the Aries life. <laughs> if that's not Aries, I don't know what is. The guy I'm talking about, his name was Steven, and he was very much like in love with me, I want to say, like for a 15 year old boy, what love is at 15. And then we were at the park, I was finally like, you know what? Forget what my dad says. Forget about me not being allowed to date. You know what? We're we're gonna do this, me and you, Steven. And then Steven's like, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, hold on. Are you sure? Because this is it's like going really fast. And I was like, but what do you mean, Steven? This has been like in the works for like three years. <laughs> what are you talking about? It never really went anywhere. Like it was weird. He was chasing me for years, and when I finally told him like I want to be with you, he was like, maybe not. Then I used to and then he dedicate Colby Calais songs to Jose. Wait, hold on. I don't know why that's bubbly. You don't know, realize? Take time to realize. Oh, that's her? That you're home there. Oh my god, I just had a fucking vision. Yeah. Hold on, Tino. Yeah. Oh my god. Christian, if you're out there, <laughs> what's up? I haven't, I haven't said your name since seventh grade. This is the first boy I ever loved. No, no, Lewis was the first boy I ever loved. Who's a Sagittarius? He was the fucking worst. But not that. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy, okay, I was in seventh grade. His name was Christian, and they used to call him Tino. That was my first love. What was his sign? You know what I want to ask you though? Who was Louis? Oh What's my his god, sign? Lewis, you mean. Air. <gasps> yeah! Who, 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 who? You scared me. Go be yeah. so much. What would you do if Nassim filmed the whole video about his ex? If he was a YouTuber, it would make sense to me. Oh, I'd literally murder Danny and send him a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, be careful. 
So really quick before we get into youtubers I want to search what sign the guy that I posted a video about oh. it was like my single again rant It was my am I dating someone like am I single like it was like I was always unsure with him He was so wishy-washy. He wanted me. He wanted me since high school I don't know what sign he is. I have to search now He always wanted to be with me like wanted me to be his valentine in high school Like and then we got out and like it never really worked out and then one time he visited LA I said stay at my house like for a few days whatever and I thought we felt Oh, oh. Turns out we didn't. Point is, when I went to Miami, he didn't give a fuck about me. Anyway, let's oh, see. Let's sign, see. Let's sign, see. Let's see what sign. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. September twenty sixth, nineteen ninety. Libra. <laughs> That's an air sign. <laughs> yeah, he's a Libra. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say Libra. I thought I had never. Oh dated my Libra. god. Yeah, I guess yeah, I did. They're so wishy washy. Every Libra. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> mm -hmm. Is this the guy that you did a video on? I was going to Probably Disney World. Her. We were supposed to go to like Disney World together, and then we didn't. And I made like a whole video of like single girl. Oh, are you bored? No, I'm not. <laughs> so now we want to get into that nitty gritty. The nitty gritty. And we want to talk about YouTubers signs. Mm -hmm. This is just like a plus, a plus thing. Oh, I'm the done. room spinning. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Oh yeah. Are you Let's okay for this. the rest of the Oh, hell yeah. Okay. If my extensions are showing, not my fault. Your extensions aren't showing. A little bit. <gasps> no, they're not. They're not. They're not. Tenemajo! <laughs> okay, do I have like little concealer marks? Yeah, see, that was hard. No, be nice to yourself. Crease. Uh. <laughs> like the dangerous woman. You I don't like this one. Why? Ariana oh, wait. That's not Ariana Grande. You made me feel like a dangerous woman? You were mixing natural woman. You made me feel like a natural woman. I hope you know dangerous woman was like written you after natural woman. You <laughs> made me feel like a dangerous woman. That's what you just fucking said. I hope you know that's how the song goes. Alexa, <laughs> play Dangerous Woman by Ariana Grande. Alexa. Volume up. You make me feel like a. <laughs> Say it later. later. And see a tater. Take a tater. That is not what you said, you fucking bitch. Case closed. We didn't even need Alexa. Wow, who needs her? We're actually gonna do the bonus round. And the bonus round is talking about YouTuber signs and guessing. And honestly, Loki mostly wanted to beauty YouTubers. Oh, you wanted to beauty? I got it. Please, for the love of God, tell me what Manny MUA is. And he's an Aries. And he's very much an Aries. What is Patrick Star? I don't know what his sign is. Oh! Ooh, that's a good one. Jacqueline uh, Hill's a cancer. I already researched this, so it's not like juicy, but Jeffree Star is a Scorpio. Oh, super he Scorpio. He embodies what Scorpio is. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 he's a Scorpio. Uh, James Charles is a Gemini. You know that for forever I thought he was a Sagittarius? I got in a low key Twitter fight with James Charles. Oh, I kind of feel like I'm intimidated by James Charles. You know that like, Geminis have a god complex. We were gonna do a whole YouTuber segment. We're a little bit drunk, and honestly, drunker yeah. than planned. We're we're done. Kathleen needs seven hot dogs. You're gonna make me vegan hot dogs. Oh, we're gonna make you several vegan. Jesse's hot dogs. the best cook. That must be a legal thing. Anyway, uh, we're a little bit too drunk, so we're gonna end the video now. But we don't be sad. We filmed more on Kathleen's channel. <laughs> a fucking, I have fucking pink lashes on. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna do a poop. Are you nose? Are you fucking serious? You miss so bad. I filmed on Kathy's channel, so just click the link below. Alright, anyway, I love you. Thanks for being on my channel. Bye! Bye!